Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to the A to Z adventure, the series that we play every single champion in as good alphabetical order as we possibly can. And unfortunately, it does seem that we're going to have another episode out of the alphabet order as I've been given a top not jungle. So today will be Fiora and we'll have to come back to Evelyn whenever next we get jungle. Again, there's nothing I can do with this um, A to Z series. You have to kind of be flexible with them. You know, I'm just saying, hey, can I get jungle? If not, no problem. You have to always be polite with it. If I can get traded, great. If not, no problem. Again, this series, we're going to play every single champion anyway. So it's not a big panic. I just ideally we'd want to play every champion in order. So we will be playing Fiora. Um, I, I enjoy Fiora. I don't play a lot of her. We played her a few times in Unranked Diamond. I think we may have played her twice in Unranked Diamond. And one game went really bad. And one game went really well, if memory serves correct. Um, and that, that's kind of, you know, a good summary. If you don't play a champion a lot, that's kind of what happens. Uh, you might just have a great game and you might have a game that you're going to feed. Um, now, just looking at kind of what Fiora does in terms of her best suited masteries and everything... It does seem Fiora is one of the few champions that still goes further, most likely because nothing else really suits her that much. You know, Warlords doesn't really suit her because you don't really need the lifesteal. Colossus doesn't really suit her because you can get one stun, I guess, and I don't even know if that would count. Grass the Undying, you're a damage dealer, so you don't really want to just, like, you know, go tanky on her. Like, you are a pure damage dealer, so that's kind of her playstyle. So we will be going for the fervor. Runes wise, again, I do have specific rune page for her. It's not perfect, but it's it's near enough. Like it's good enough. So it's got two attack speed quints. You probably want three attack speed quints. One AD AD quint, uh, AD reds, uh, magic resist and cooldown reduction blues and armor yellows. Um, anyway, so to go, so we're basically skipping Evelyn and Fiddlesticks, by the way, because. I want to also play Fiddlesticks in the jungle. If I can't get him in the jungle, then I'll play him support. But yeah, we, we've had to skip two champions uh, so far. But again, that's just the way that it goes. Uh, obviously, just to kind of show you the champions upcoming, Evelyn, Fiddlesticks, Fizz, Galio. So just to say, where do I want to play these champions? Evelyn in the jungle, Fiddlesticks in the jungle, preferably. If I can't get him in the jungle, then I'll play him support. Fizz in mid lane, Galio in mid lane. Uh, those are the ideal roles that I want. Okay, I'm against a Jax. That's kind of cool. I think that's just a relatively fighty fight um, lane. Actually, looking here straight away, yeah. I thought it was in slightly Fiora's favor if I play it right. Um, Fiora has a 54% win rate against Jax. So that's a good win rate. My only guess why that would be is because if you're a good Fiora player, and I'm saying, you know, I, I might not be, you can counter his E, right? If I use my W while he's going to stun me with E, obviously that does take prediction, uh, because he can cancel his E at any time, then you basically mitigate his stun and you stun him. So that's kind of big um, in terms of damage dealing and stuff like that. So uh, this lane should be fun. I, I always like when I'm playing top lane, if I'm playing like a melee bruiser, I always like going against the melee bruiser because then you know majority of the matchup is probably going to be skill matchup. Whether you make a mistake, they make a mistake, that's kind of the point. Um, so it should be kind of fun. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Uh, also, just to point out, uh, and here's the annoying thing with me recording so many videos in advance right now, is I can't really react to comments um, easily at the moment. You know, I never want to do this again in terms of recording a lot of videos in advance um, because I can't react with you guys in the comment section because so many people were telling me how do I do the ping shop. I actually worked it out in the end um, that I actually didn't have a key bind, but you're still going to have in between me finding out and this video i think there's like six episodes so uh yeah anyway should we go project or should we go pro uh, project or pure pie i think we'll go project um so without much further ado let's get in the loading screen where you break down today's game okay welcome to the loading screen this is where you use the website lolskill.net and as you can see the enemy team have a 51.7 percent chance to win so let's break it down they have a diamond 5 caitlin a diamond 5 Jax, a diamond 5 Janna, a diamond 5 lee sin and a diamond 5 cassio on my team, a Diamond 5 Grays, Diamond 5 Viger, Diamond 5 Ezreal, Diamond 5 Fiora, and a Diamond 5 Thresh. So welcome to Diamond 5, pretty much. Um, just to point out a couple things, is the Jax actually, interestingly, has Thunderlords. Now, I do know Fervor got nerfed, but if it is the most suitable mastery for a champion, I still think you should take it. Like, I'm taking it on Fiora. I think it's just the best option for her, still. Um, other things to note is... 
Uh, Ezreal's actually taking forever as well. I did that in the uh, Ezreal episode. Again, I think it's just his most suitable. Goes back to that point. Uh, Thunderlord's Lee Sin, not Colossus. Arguably, Colossus is the strongest thing for him right now. Him taking Colossus basically says to me, he may want to invade on the Graves. But again, Graves isn't an easy target for a Lee Sin to kill. Uh, but just to also point out, the Greys also has a negative win rate. So hopefully it'll be okay. Um, my lane that I'm going to be like, ooh, how's this lane going to go today? Honestly, a little bit in top lane. You know, it, it, this guy's got a good win rate, good KD. So we'll see how it goes in top lane. But I'd also say mid lane. Cassio could snowball, but also Viga could. Um, so we'll see how it goes in today's match. Okay, welcome to the game. So today we are playing Fiora top lane. Now the cool thing is, if you guys have been watching the past few episodes, you'll know I'm recording a lot of videos in advance right now for my laser eye surgery. The cool thing is, that's happening literally right now in the future. As Like, for me recording this, I'm actually recording this on Saturday. You guys are seeing this on Tuesday at 12. That's literally when I'm having my eyes lasered. So that's kind of cool. Um, hopefully it goes well. Um, but yeah. Damn. Okay, they got there pretty quick towards. No, no, no. You don't want to go for that, my friend. Again, we've noticed uh, if you a few episodes ago when we invaded and the enemy knew, you guys saw how bad that went. I think that was the Cho'Gath episode, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, quite a while ago. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Odd question. Um, but yeah, okay. This matchup top lane. It's going to be interesting. I think both of us can win the matchup. Again, I think it can go slightly in my favour if I'm good. If I'm bad, I think a Jax could win. Uh, he does have the Thunderlords, which will give him burst. So I've got to be careful of that. But I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Um, Mr. Graves, what are you doing? Why is he like the other side? Recently, my mic. I don't know if my pop filter's like dying. I know it's hard for a pop filter to die. But maybe the, the elastic of it or something has gone. Because... It keeps drooping into my eyesight of the monitor, which it never has before. Okay, one more auto attack. Bam. There you go, my friend. That's good enough. Remember, you know, the mid laner could have done a pull as well. Because you don't want to kind of get screwed over. Oh, so he cheesed. Interesting. I don't really know why you'd do that when he could have just built himself a lane advantage. Obviously, I do have to use my potion, but... Yeah. LOL. So, Lee Sin invaded. Again, I said to that he might invade because he's got Thunderlords. Why else would a Lee Sin take Thunderlords nowadays when Colossus is so strong? I, I pressed flash. I pressed flash, which just didn't work. Holy moly, that's so bad for me. I swear I pressed, pressed flash in time, but I didn't. Wow, that's terrible for me. Holy moly. That's terrible. Okay, well, at least I have flash and he doesn't, so maybe I can kill him, but... Yeah, that's bad. I'd really want Graves actually to gank. If Graves ganks right now, then that's really good. Because he has no escape. Fuzzy cannon. <sighs> okay. Lol. So, he just killed himself and he was actually a level ahead. So, he just threw away his hold leave. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. I knew I could probably kill him. Because, like, that level one, for that first blood on me, honestly, was just my mistake. I should not have died there. Not flashing was my vital error, which I, I thought I flashed in time, but obviously not. But I should win this lane. Leon, you're blue. Okay. But now I'm 10 CS up, and we've got even kills, so that's actually not bad. I'm actually ahead in this lane now, even though I made that vital error in the early game. Um, Graves might be coming for a gank. Ooh, damn it. Okay, there he is. See, I also have the, the funny feeling that this guy is a very aggressive player as a Jax. So, I think this could be a very snowbally lane for either of us. It just depends how well we both play, really. It's 
It's going to be a very intense lane, I'll put it that way. Because, yeah. Uh, it's a bot lane. Whoa, holy moly. You guys noticed that Ezreal's item? Damn. So I, wa I wanted to get the cannon, so I used W, but it opens him up to go on me, basically. Um, well, that could be a good gank. He didn't need to flash, I don't think. Um, well, maybe he did. Damn, they're so low in mid. Okay, I was just waiting for my W to come back up. It's pushing into my territory. But yeah, he bought a fairy charm, and he's half CS. I don't know if buying the fairy charm is honestly worth it. If, yeah, I don't know. Stay in XP range at least. So I don't need to play aggressive right now. The reason for it, oops, is because the minions are, are heading my way. Is Jax going to dive me? He might, but I still got flash up. So I, I should be able to survive as long as I use my W efficiently. Oh. Try to get as many last hits as I possibly can. Got to compete with the tower though, which is a little bit strong. Okay, I've got my ult. Not sure if I'll be able to get it off though, that's the problem. Before he kills me. If I manage to get off, I'd probably kill him, that's the thing. Graves is coming, that's warded. I don't know how he's life stealing. Like I can physically see his health going up. I know he's got the D blade, but I don't know. It seems like he's got more than the three percent life steal. Usually, you wouldn't physically see someone's health going up with three percent life steal. Um, do I think Lee's top lane potentially? So I'm gonna go back. Got a lot of gold. Obviously, you want to make sure you're using your gold in the early game. Ezreal, like, he just ran into damage there. I'll be there in a second. Okay, I'm on my way. Yeah, that was really poorly played by Ezreal, if you guys saw that little team fight there. He literally just ran into the damage. Can he shield? Oh, E. Figer, really. I flashed again. Is my F key not working? Like, I, I honestly pressed flash, and I wasn't stunned at that time, I don't think. Okay. Interesting. Part of me wants to just flash to see if it's working, but I don't really want to waste it, because that's now two times that I pressed F. It is working. That it just didn't go off. Interesting. He still only got a fairy charm. Yeah. Hmm. This game's not going well very on so far. Oh wait, Vargas only died once. All right. I know I said that he died again. So some people are gonna be like, he hasn't died yet. No, I thought he did. My bad. Maybe it's... Ah, oh, I know why. I thought he died. Probably my mind when he went over here. But he didn't die. Okay. Uh, so now Jax has got three kills. That's a bit of a bummer. Lee Sin is going the pure aggression build. Even though he mucked up at the level one, he's still doing it. My keyboard is not working today. Like, I'm not even making this up. I'm pressing the ability and it's just not going off. I have no idea what's going on. Everything's working. Like, I, what I can tell. It's so weird. And normally I wouldn't, like, normally I'd be like, okay, it's just me being slow. But it's happened three times now, this game, already. Three times is too much for that to happen. When every single time I'm like, that was, that just didn't go off. 
So part of me thinks my keyboard's just not reacting, which is really weird. It's very frustrating when this type of thing happens. <sighs> they should know that's coming. They are not paying attention whatsoever, because this is about to come. Yeah, they they just weren't paying attention. Okay, is Lee Sin here? Him being there could tell me that Lee Sin's here. He's not. Oh my god, it actually went off. Fire ult. Come on, please die. Oh, you didn't die, are you kidding me? 30 health. God, I'm getting wrecked. I, I, I'm getting wrecked because he's just stronger than me now, but yeah. I'm really disappointed with, so far, everything that's been going on with my keyboard. Can I him? <laughs> Might help. But yeah, damn. This really sucks for me, man. And I don't really know how to explain it. Like, I know a lot of people can go, oh, it just looks like... No, it's not. Um, like, a lot of people going, oh, it's just Huz making excuses. No, honestly, I'm not. Like, I don't know what's happened this game. I presume that was teleport. Damn, he's snowballing the map now. He's got his Triforce. Damn. But yeah, we can 2v1 him really easily. I don't know why the Gra Graves thinks, like... We wouldn't be able to kill him. It's still... He's, like, not tanky. He still takes a lot of damage. And we're both damage dealers. So you just burst him and then th there's not a lot he can do. But, yeah, the whole map is kind of losing. Graves, is it for himself, is doing well. Hmm. Hopefully, yeah, Thresh did pick up my kill. But, yeah, even bot lane was struggling. And then I'm struggling for whatever reason. Okay, great. Uh, Jax is still there. God. Lee damage was insane. We just got to kind of pro like prolong the game as much as we can. Yep, I know. Damn. So he's got try. So my first time, obviously, is the Hydra. If you didn't realize. I'm trying to think how we're going to win this game. The Viger Cage could be really useful the later this game goes on. Because obviously they're, they've got really fed like melee champions, especially the Jacks. So the Cage will stop the Jacks getting on people, which is really good. Um, but yeah. Why do I have the funny feeling you know, something's going to happen around here? Just let it go. See? He's still squishy. It's still a, a, a Jax. You know, you just kill him. I know it sounds obvious, but that's what you do. He's not like he's got, like, pure tank and he's really fed. So that's why I was, like, so confused why Graves was like, It's too late to go top now. It's not. Nice. Oh, there you go. Bit of a comeback. Gives me time in top lane to try and get the tower. Which would be not first blood, because that was bot lane. I think they're okay, right? If I go over this, am I dead? I think I'm going to go for it because I would just want my team to have the global gold. Wait, that hit me? Really? That... The hell? God, I am... I must be just playing terribly today because I just... That E was not in my range, what I thought. Like, I was that confident I didn't Q or W it because I was like, yeah, I'm out of range. Nope, not, apparently not. Damn. Well, I did say a while ago, Jax is my Kryptonite champion. Oh, he used to be when I was a top lane main. When I used to play tournaments and stuff, I'd always lose to Jax's. But that hasn't been a thing in a while. And I don't know, I'm losing to a Jax when I... It sounds weird, but like, I just don't feel like I'm supposed to be losing, if that makes sense. It's weird. Really weird. 
Uh, that was one auto attack that he just did. Nice. So Viking can one-shot the Cassio. That's really, really good. The enemy bot lane is at our tier 2. Lee Sin's going mid. Missing Jax. I can't even push out right now because I don't know where Jax is. So the annoying thing is that he could be anywhere on the map, but he also could still be top lane. So if I go here, he could be just waiting. And he was. So that's why you just can't go because I'd be dead. Yeah, I don't understand how much burst that was. It would, oh, it's the Thunderlords, maybe. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Guessing he really wants to get this tower, because I already got his. What the hell? What was that? That just did over half of my health in one... Wow. That's oddly impressive. Decent flash. Um, yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to survive against this Jax if he can just do that on me. To be honest. Oh, God. Uh, we need Cage to ice here. And Lee. We don't really want to fight them unless we can just get a one shot off. Viger does have ult, so that's a good sign. Oh, he's found Lee. They should just run away. I don't wonder, like, you're saying guys react, but we can't really kill these people unless we literally just go nuts on them. I'm trying to, like, get him. Go on him. Ezreal! 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 Oh my god! Ez. Are you kidding? What the hell? Did... What? That's not just me, right? That can't be just me. What? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so confused in my life in Diamond. Like, this is Diamond. Wow. Like, I know I'm not... Like, I know a lot of people go, Oh, you're playing bad. Shut up. No. I know I'm playing bad. Me saying what other people are doing bad doesn't mean... Like, if I'm playing bad, it doesn't mean that I can point out other people's mistakes. Or it doesn't mean I can't point out other people's mistakes. That was a free shutdown... And Ezreal just completely ignored everything that was going on. That's incredible. Like, as an AD carry, you're looking for any shut... Especially when you're behind, you're looking for a shutdown all the time. And he just ignored it. Like, completely. That's crazy. I'm not even sure I can survive him into tower for this versus this guy, but we'll have a go. I just need to make sure I'm using my W. Whew, okay. Get my head in the game. Need help in top lane, that's for sure. Because I... Cassio's dead. Okay, she won't be here, but some people could be. Need. Like, what? How can I survive against that? I don't understand. Wait, at least Sin can't be making his way before my team, right? Yep, he did. Okay. I did ask for help quite a while ago. And I got none. Holy moly. No. This is hard. I think I can fight Lee in a 1v1. Oh yeah, he's got face and didn't use it. Block it, block it, block it, block it. Oh, God. Oh, kill up. 
Don't know where Jax has gone. Oh, careful. Is no one coming? Mm, nope. Okay. <laughs> hmm. He's so fed that he can just kill any of us practically. God, this is really disappointing. But yeah, no, I, I'm I'm honestly shocked with how much damage the Jax is doing. Like he only had Triforce at one stage and he was doing over half health of me in one combo. It's kind of impressive. If they hit any of that CC then I think Thresh would have lived. But yeah, um, what do I do? Because, you know, again, there, there's a limit that I always say to people if you're doing bad build tank, but I'm a Fiora, I'm not a tank. Like, you don't build tank on a Fiora, so it's kind of pointless. So I guess I still go damage. Like, if, say, if some people say, well, what type of champion would I start going tank? If I was, like, Renekton and this was happening, yeah, I'd go pure tank. Fiora's not designed at all to be one, so you it's kind of, oh, damn. It's kind of pointless to do it. Yeah, they've got a 10-3 Jax, a 3-0 Caitlyn. God, they're so far ahead. Luckily, the Cass isn't doing well, but she is still picking up kills on mainly, like, the Thresh if he goes near her. And they can't kill him quick enough. But again, I, we're not out of this game. Like, we haven't lost it. The Cage from Viger is going to be really useful, like I said earlier. Because that gives us an opportunity to kill people before they can get to us, which is really important. Cage. No need ult. Ah, oh, just kill him. Honestly, no need. Well, just, just, just kill him. It, it's not worth risking. Ezra will die instantly if Jax gets on top of him. Don't know if we can really stop this. Ow. Part of me wants to rotate over for Cassio. I think I actually W'd that. Nice. We were going to lose that tower inevitably, so that's kind of why I went over to rotate. It was a free kill on a cast. I'd rather take the free kill to try and help me get a little bit strong at the moment. Because we definitely need it. I am extremely weak right now. Um, if we dogpile on him with three people with some CC, I think we'd kill him. Ooh. That damage on Caitlyn, holy moly. I need to go top lane to stop the jacks pushing. This game is difficult, <laughs> and I know it's partially to my fault because of how badly I've done against jacks. But yeah, it's difficult. It's another Infernal. We got the first one, so if we can get another one, that would be pretty good. I just, I don't think we're going to get the next one. Because we just don't have any territory now. Um, again, it's really annoying because I need to farm out. But if I go too far out and I don't know where Jax is, he could just come kill me. Because, yeah, he's 100% going to be able to kill me right now. The damage output that he has is way too high. Okay, he's not with top. He's near mid. So it gives me time to push. Just got to look when he's coming back top. I think we should give it up, to be honest. I'll just say I have teleport, but... Again, I don't think it's the best idea. Going for, I'm just going to keep pushing. I don't think we can contest it because we have no vision of it whatsoever. So you could be just running into all five of them and you don't even know. Yeah, they did it instantly anyway. Okay. Back. Um... Just, yeah, if we can stall this game out, when we get six items and they have six items, 
I just do I do think their late game potentially is better than ours, but we can still win again. You can always win. Uh, if you just play it correctly, and our way of correctly will be when Lee Sin, we've seen it throughout this game, he goes for those fancy try to kick people. You just counter that with the Viger. Kill the Lee Sin, and then it's a 4v5. Basically. I know that sounds. Uh, making it sound very basic, but it's practically what you have to do this game. So Lee Sin's here, Jax is near him. Caitlyn's staying mid for farm. If they can get those two, that's really good. Neeson's in here. But yeah, we need to stop Jax. He's just going to split push the whole game because nobody can actually stand up to him in a 1v1. And I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to for the rest of the game, to be honest. Uh-oh. Like that was just a Q and a Q and a W. So much damage. Hmm. Let's see if I can stay under tower. The hell's my team? Hello. <laughs> There's just no reaction going on at all this game. Okay, at least they can kill him. Uh, he didn't use the Viger Cage properly, but they should still be able to kill him, right? There we go. Good hook. There's two free kills. They just need to get there quicker. Like, we can punish these guys. Like, they're playing incredibly aggressive. What the hell? They're playing incredibly aggressive. And, you know, rightfully so. They're very much ahead. The Jax is doing an insane amount of damage. The Lee Sin, you can tell, is just playing aggressive the whole game. We're not punishing that aggression. You need to punish it. And how do you punish it? Okay, so if as soon as they saw Lee Sin top, as soon as they saw him, people should have started heading there. And yeah, they didn't. It took them a while. Um, but again, keep her going. Don't let your head go too far down. And yeah, this is a game very easily that you could get demoralized. But I try not to let myself get demoralized. You know, especially with recording this and this being uploaded to thousands of people. Yeah. Could be very easy for me to get demoralized, but I try not to, because what good would that do for me? No, no good. Really want to kill her, but I, I don't know where in, where anybody is. So if I go on her, then two people could show up. So it's kind of pointless to do so. Um, so Graze's damage is going to be pretty good. Viger's damage is going to be okay, and Ezreal's starting to scale. Oh yeah. Alright. Not terrible. Okay, Jax is bot lane. Are they going to put Jax bot and then do Baron, I wonder? Because the thing is, I can't survive it. Especially if, well, if Lee Sin comes, then definitely not. We can't stop it, I don't think. Cage? No, you didn't cage again. Oh. What are you doing? Why did he position just to let himself get killed? What? he says that because you know bad games happen all the time it's not just because it's season six diamond it's just snowball and yeah, that inhib's gone god this game is like it kind of feels like we're getting like strangled out but it's a good way of winning really we do nothing. It's, we can't really do anything. Like, what can we do? We just gotta try and make. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, we just need to make sure the Viger cage hits at the right time. We got a good hit on the Caitlyn. Nice. 
Um, but then there's the rest of the team that you have to deal with as well. Was that a two? A three? We killed three, they killed two, so it's worth it for us, but yeah. The minions are starting to come. And what you have to think is, don't think the game is truly over. I know it's looking very dire at the moment with three inhibitors being taken. The likelihood of us losing this game is very high. But you have to remember, if they leave this game a really long time, and I'm talking ten odd minutes, we have ten odd minutes of just constant now minions coming into our base that we can just free farm. So, just make sure, like, don't put your head down completely at this stage of the game. Keep farming as much as you can. Because this is a good time that we can actually get gold. Uh, probably the best time that we've had in a really long time. So, yeah. Another Infernal. God, we've been really unlucky with the dragons. Two Infernals and a mountain when we're getting snowballed against is literally perfect for a team that wants to win, like, early. It just gives them so much more damage than us. I thought Ezra would go mid instead of sharing this with me, but whatever. Uh, they're probably gonna go for like a last ditch effort in a second, I would say. Yeah. Okay, I need to go by. Probably gonna be the last team. Oh, he should have gone for that kill. It's over. Too fed. Oh well. Again, win some, lose some. And I played quite bad this game. I openly admit that. Um, I just got wrecked. And in the early games, like, again, I'm trying not to make excuses, but my keyboard, I was pressing the buttons, or at least I thought I was, and it happened like three odd times that the ability just didn't go off, which is really weird. But yeah, I guess it happens to everybody occasionally. But there we go. That is Fiora. Uh, a disappointing game, but um, I guess what you can kind of learn from it is how strong Jax could be. Like, again, I got completely bamboozled by how much damage he was doing. That combo of, like, the Thunderlord's W combo, I got half health, and there was just like, right, what, what can I do at the moment? And there was just nothing that I could do. But again, I am, I guess, one of the very few YouTubers that actually uploads when I get stomped because that's realistic. You know, a lot of people get false impressions of their YouTubers going, oh, that YouTube is amazing and stuff like that. When in reality, if you only upload victories, obviously people are going to think you're good. Where I upload everything because uh, I like my channel to be realistic. So damage wise, the Jacks did the most by far uh, against our team anyway. And then the Caitlyn and then the Cassio comparing to our team, Viger. Uh, then Graves, then Ezreal, then me. I did like nothing this game, but it was it was really tough. I just wish I didn't make, well, as many mistakes, obviously, and I wish like whatever happened with my abilities, whether it was my error or whether it was the keyboard, I, it's hard to tell. Um, I wish that just didn't happen because there were several times that I probably could have turned that lane, especially like the first blood was one of them. If I flashed, I wouldn't have died. And there was a couple that if I W'd, I wouldn't have died. It's just like so many of those little moments just gave Jax an advantage. And then with that damage that he had, randomly just boom. It just nothing that I could do from then on. So yeah, disappointing. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Again, a lot of people say they learn more from the losses than the victories. So hopefully you learn. Don't suck at Fiora because this can happen. But you also can see how strong Jax can be. I now definitely see why he went Thunderlords. Uh, so yeah, like it, subscribe. See you guys next time. See ya.